Well, Mike Hanna is at Morsi's campaign headquarters. He sent us this update. Supporters of Mohammed Morsi celebrating outside the campaign headquarters. The Muslim Brotherhood claiming that Mohammed Morsi has become Egypt's new president. It claims some 53% of the vote, quoting election organizers at polling stations across the country. These are very preliminary results, though. The formal result will only be made public in a couple of days' time. Appeal processes to be gone through, possibly even recounts in a number of areas. So although they are celebrating a victory, it will not be confirmed until the victory is formally declared. But overshadowing the celebrations too, uh, the issue of a declaration by the military, essentially it has said it will continue to hold on to the bulk of legislative and executive powers regardless of who becomes president. It says too uh, that it reserves the right to unilaterally appoint a new constituent committee, the bodies that's supposed to draw up the new constitution. All of these declarations will be very strongly resisted by many in Egyptian society, particularly by members of the Muslim Brotherhood and the followers of Mohammed Morsi, the man who claims to be Egypt's new president. Morsi's opponent is former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafi. His supporters have denied Morsi's victory claim, saying it's too early to judge. Shireen Tadros has the latest from Shafi's headquarters in Cairo. Well, it's really a complete denial right now. They're shaking their heads. They're saying that what the Muslim Brotherhood is saying in terms of their candidate winning is completely false. The numbers they say that they've presented this evening aren't correct. And according to the only number that they've really given us in the past several hours, uh, the only half of the polling stations, according to the Shafiq campaign, have actually finished counting. 7,000, they say, out of the 14,000 odd polling stations. So the message coming from the Shafiq camp is very much, it's still a long night ahead. There are still key provinces that haven't finished counting. And until there is a clearer picture across the country of how people voted, uh, they don't want to uh, give figures. They don't want to even give us any kind of projections. And they're completely denying the, the figures that the Muslim Brotherhood have given and their declaration that their own candidate has won. Shireen Tadros there uh, outside uh, Shafiq's uh, headquarters in Cairo. These are live pictures now in Cairo from uh, Tahrir Square where it all began uh, just uh, almost a year and a half ago. Those protests that led to the fall of Hosni Mubarak. Uh, a small crowd of uh, people have gathered uh, in the square uh, right now uh, waving Egyptian flags. We're not sure if they're supporters of Mohammed Morsi or uh, Ahmed uh, Shafiq, but uh, Morsi supporters, as we say, uh, are claiming victory. Official results uh, of uh, that election won't be out, uh, we understand, until Thursday.